Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, Metal Music Meltdown, back with another video. What do you have for today, guys, is a quick video of my most anticipated albums of 2022. And as you can see behind me, my little furry buddy Lennon uh, decided to photobomb my video, but that's cool. Um, so I just wanted to really quickly go through some albums that are rumored to come out this year that I really uh, anticipate uh, checking out. And all the ones that have confirmed dates uh, that I do want to either pick up or check out for sure. Um, so beginning very quickly with the bands that are rumored to be in uh, production with new music, but nothing confirmed with dates or anything as of yet. Um, just going through the quick list here online. Uh, Anthrax is a big one. I'm kind of looking forward to a new one. Behemoth is rumored to be in the studio uh, working on new stuff. Uh, Candlemas, Corner, Death Angel possibly has a new one coming. Uh, Exciter would be really cool if they had a new album this year. Ghost. I like Ghost's early stuff, but the newer stuff is a little too poppy for me. But I'd be interested to check out a new album from Ghost. I like them. Uh, Insomnium would be really cool. I love Insomnium. Uh, Creator would be one of my most anticipated, if, if that is true, if they do have an album coming coming soon. Uh, big, big, huge one, King Diamond slash Merciful Fate. Um, I heard rumors that they're supposed to release pr uh, albums for both projects this year. That'd be freaking amazing. Uh, let me see here. Obituaries on the list here. Overkill would be really cool to have another album. All their stuff is great. Uh, Ozzy's supposed to be in the, in the uh, studio, possibly working on an album, but with his health, I'm not sure how that's going to go. Uh, Ramstein's supposed to be working on a new album. That'd be really killer. I love Ramstein. Soil Work uh, is on a new one. Testament would be amazing. I, Testament's uh, last album, Titans of Creation, was a fucking masterpiece. I loved it. I really hope they come out with a new album again. Silosis is supposed to be working on new stuff. That'd be really cool. Violence would be really cool on EP uh, coming out. Uh, let me see here. And Ma Megadeth is another big one. Uh, Megadeth's been rumored to be working on stuff. It's called The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to come out this year. Uh, it's been in, in the works for over a year and a half or two years now. So I'm assuming sometime in 2022... We should get a new Megadeth album. Uh, Machine Head's on the list here, but the last album was shit. I didn't like it at all. I'm not really looking forward to that too much, but I might check out a couple singles on YouTube or something, see how it is. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it that I see here very quickly looking down the list. Um, there might be a few I missed that were kind of not standing out. Onslaught actually is on here as well. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but let's jump into the albums that have confirmed uh, release dates. And if there is an album cover, I'll post them kind of on the side here. Um, so the first album that's already been released actually a couple days ago on the 7th um, is the new uh, Wilder Run. Um, so I have to check out that for sure. I love this band um, because one of my arguably my favorite band metal, metal band right now is Opeth. And these guys are very Opeth-like. Um, they have a lot of acoustic melodies, but then they really punch with like a death metal uh, vibe and they're bringing on a journey very very beautiful metal melodies and and co composition but they really punch hard with some death metal growls and music as well so and that's called epigon and that just came out like i said january 7th really cool artwork on that one too it's uh, kind of a kind of a mysterious looking album cover very like fantasy looking weird color combinations but I'm really looking forward to checking this one out. I love this; these guys, all their stuff is good. And they're like a progressive me uh, metal band, uh, really good stuff. I'm hoping that will be a continuation of all their previous stuff. And just Lennon, just jumping into other albums that have confirmed uh, release dates. Uh, let me go down the list here quickly for what I had. I think there's 10 other ones that have dates that aren't uh, out yet, obviously yet, because it's only January. Um, so we had Saxon with Carp Diem due out on February the 4th. Um, old school, a new wave of British heavy metal veteran. They always put out solid albums, really good stuff. Uh, Amorphous is a huge one for me. Their album's entitled Halo. Also due out on February the 11th, pretty soon as well. I'm really looking forward to that one. That's one definitely one of my most anticipated for this year. I uh, love Amorphous, really good stuff. 
uh, Canadian uh, metalheads, Voivod, are, uh, have a new album called uh, Synchro Anarchy. Uh, that's due out on also February the 11th. Um, that should be a solid album. I'm not the biggest uh, Voivod fan, but their stuff's solid and I enjoy most of it. Uh, but I definitely want to check out their new stuff. Uh, also, uh, Canadian Thrashers Annihilator have a new album out on February the 18th uh, called Metal uh, 2. And again, these are all really close together. Within February, there's like four releases within a couple weeks. Um, another one I wanted to kind of check out was uh, a band called Bloodywood. And uh, the album's called Rock, Rock Shack. And I heard the first single off this. Again, I'll put the album cover up here. Really cool album cover. It's got the elephant and the guy. It looks really epic. The first single, I really liked it. It was very heavy. I loved the majority of the song, but when it got into the rapping kind of part, it was a little too new metal sounding and the guitar tone as well. But I love the vibe of it and the the the, inf the fusion of the um, traditional Indian music as well. Blended perfectly, super heavy. It's just that rapping part I wasn't a huge fan of, but I enjoyed the first single enough to kind of want to check out some more. So I definitely want to check out that album as well. Uh, New York Death Metal Heads, uh, Immolation, Acts of God is also due out in February as well, 18th. Well, February's going to be a big month. Uh, that's another one that I, I really want to check out. And uh, Scorpions have a new album out on the 25th of February. Uh, Hammer of Dawn, or not Hammer of Dawn, sorry, that's Hammerfall. Uh, Scorpions is Rock Believe. Um, so I love Scorpions. Most of their stuff is pretty, pretty classic. So it's definitely another one I'll just kind of check out to see how it is. And then into March, finally, March the 4th, we have Crowbar with uh, Zero and Below. Love Crowbar sound, very sludgy. Um, yeah, very sludge, doomy kind of metal. Really like crunchy riffs. I love their stuff. Vocals are great. Looking forward to a new one from them. They never disappoint. And let me see here what else there was. Oh, the biggest one for me right now in April the 8th, uh, Destruction with uh, Diabolical. The first single of this blew my mind away. I did a reaction for it. Check it out in the channel. Um, fucking a killer. Right in your face, um, Thrash. This is going to be a beast of a Thrash record. I can only already see it. That right now is probably my most anticipated album right now, uh, Destruction. And I think the last one here was the new Porcupine Tree. It's been many years. It's called uh, Closure and Continuation. Um, great prog rock band. I uh, haven't heard any of their stuff in many, many years. Um, I think this will be a highly anticipated album for a lot of uh, prog guys. And I'm kind of interested to check that out as well to see how it is. And I believe that was all the ones for this year, guys, that have confirmed dates. Uh, but let me know down below what you're really looking forward to this year. Um, I think, my like I said, my most anticipated ones from what I've mentioned Definitely uh, Destruction's number one. Amorphous is really up there for sure. Um, new Megadeth, if it does come out, would be killer. And Testament, if Testament had a new album, that'd be fucking killer as well. I think those four right off the top of my head would be the ones. Uh, but yeah, let me know down below what you're really looking forward to in 2022. And uh, maybe there's something I might have missed. Uh, Lorna Shore might have an album. That EP fucking killed last year. that would be really cool if they put in an album. Uh, but yeah, like I said, guys, let me know down below what you're looking forward to. And until next time, keep it metal.